Okay. <coughs> Speaking about the Connect, the Connect is crazy, and I'll get into where I think it's going and where what's going to happen with it uh, with the singularity topic. But at the moment, I'll just say about these six amazing projects that I've been following, which are just crazy. Um, because people have been they've got the Connect and they've been hacking it. And they've been doing all this really, really cool shit. Well, apparently, there was an article saying that they uh, Microsoft actually had it open by design. Mm. Yeah, that's it. Which is genius. Smart Release people. a device, you know, make the code hackable. Yeah. You're getting all this amazing innovation on it. It's spectacular. And you could, li- they could, you could list the links of crazy stuff that yeah. people are doing. Sorry. Well, that, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> listing the links and stuff is uh, exactly that right here. It's like uh, one of the big ones uh, that a lot of people became very interested over was uh, actually putting a connect on a Roomba. And uh, as it was going around, they could just is- issue commands to the Roomba by just doing gestures to it yeah. going there. So they so attached it to a left. robot and uh, the robot was responding to it. That's literally what it was. It wasn't a Roomba or a Kinect. It was talking to a robot. Yeah. All right. That was cool. Uh, next one was uh, <laughs> the Minority Report interface for Windows 7. That was just crazy. There is going to be an actual product that comes out now. They're all different... In- uh, uh, versions of this one that have been released at the moment, the different ways to actually interact with Windows 7, like my god, like say you use this hand to actually move the mouse and go like that and then that hand to click. How, how accurate is it though? Like, it was good, like I have a video up here, I'll, I'll, I'll put it up, it's kind of cool. So you and, actually uh, move the mouse with your hands? Yeah, yeah, just, yeah, and then you just click with that one. Oh, you gotta click, you can't like... Well, I'm sure you can do it with that as well. Like, I oh, mean, that, that's yeah. the whole thing, that the Connect tracks <laughs> anything that you do, that there are so many different versions of the Minority Report interface that someone will work out, like, the killer way to do it. The thing that really blew my mind with this was uh, Google Maps and actually uh, seeing someone fly around Google Maps just using their hands. It's yeah. like, whoa, we're in the <laughs> And uh, then the other ones being, you know, multi-touch surfaces, turning things into surfaces, interacting that way. Shadow puppets actually using real things. Another cool video. Yeah. Um, lots of stuff. But uh, let's get to the fun thing. Let's talk about the singularity aspects and uh, where it's going to go and what this is going to allow us to do. So it's like future of the connect, I'm guessing. Yeah. Future probably, of the connect. It's probably a good SEO term. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> People future be like, where is the connect going? Like, oh, well, we can tell you. Can't it's we? going outside. Oh. Well, yeah, definitely the first thing. I, I really love the Minority Report uh, <laughs> interface for it. The, uh, say you're, you're interacting with, say, your TV, or you're interacting with your Xbox and all of that. I mean, the next logical step, I've heard people speaking about it. There's a lot of positives and negatives. People saying if it's possible, if it's not. I am of the camp that I do think that actually having uh, gesture recognition for your TV or just going like that, that, just being able to walk in and say, like, TV play, or, like, you just do a hand yeah. movement and say play, I mean... Why not? Why should I have to pick up a remote? Why should I have to do that? Yeah, they'd be so much more comfortable. Yeah, that's it. It's just natural. Because TV is very much like a lazy sport. <laughs> yeah. It's just, yeah. It's just chill. I'm just like, oh. <laughs> yeah, well, why not do that? Like, I mean, people have been only... I've been noticing this online and what people have been discussing, that people, when speaking about the Connect, really focus on that it's gotten rid of the controller, that it's gotten rid of, uh, like, you know, the game controller and all of that. Yeah. But I think it's gotten rid of more than that. It's gotten rid of the remote. It's gotten rid of all of that, that it's... The you interaction. Are the controller. Yeah, you are the control. Like the interaction now, and thankfully the Kinect is good enough for it. Like I mean, it does have limitations, but it is good enough to actually get rid of a controller, get rid of a, a remote. I, I would bet that like kids growing up, like you know, you know, five, ten years or something, it's going to be that you just interact with your TV that way. That why not have a Kinect? Use your hand movements. Yeah. That sounds think, pretty cool. Yeah, I think that's uh, that's why I'm very excited for this for the the interface designs, and my ten year old self would punch me because I'm not talking about the games. <laughs> The games, cool. are, the games are in the real life now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people have been saying it's been pretty cool as well. Like the amount of stuff you can do. I mean, just with the hacks that, I mean, actually chucking it on a robot and uh, the robot starts wandering around doing stuff and you just respond yeah. to it by talking to the robot. Well, see, I, I, I kind of like the other side more that the, the fact that they actually made it open by design, mm. whatever that means in Microsoft talk. <laughs> but if people start actually making all these crazy devices and said, you know, hey, here's the code, do mm. whatever you want with it. Like it's you get all this innovation from it. Yeah, I mean, well, Microsoft. I'm sure they're proof. like I'm sure they're watching it very very closely. Every single little video, every single yeah. piece that comes out showing, hey, here's how we're using the Connect. They're gonna you know track that, and plus it's also giving I mean gamers uh, sorry the game developers information on like what yeah. they could do with the, this yeah. device. Well, the shadow puppets yeah. thing I think was brilliant that someone had their yeah. arm just going like that. And they were like a bird, and then they just made it appear on the screen that you controlled the bird by however you were moving your hand. Yeah, it was great. I said, well, what's what's the difference with the Kinect? Why? How is it any different from a webcam? Like, why couldn't you? Well, like from the iToy or something. Is it? 
So it, that's I, different. I, it, is it? Has it got something special, like hardware-wise? Well, it, it does do three. I think there are, there are multiple cameras in it because that's what's allowed to do 3D and stuff. Okay, so it's, it's, just, it's just two cameras then. Yeah, I, th I think it's mainly the software that goes through. Yeah. Oh, like, I don't um, think the hardware's anything technical. Yeah, because really. motion, recognition, all that, yeah. that's just all software, isn't it? Yeah, well, I, I think that's mainly yeah. the thing with it. Another cool thing, actually, speaking about the 3D <laughs> aspects of the Kinect, is a guy actually said that it does um, actual creates a 3D map of his room and stuff. You yeah, had the Kinect was... and it showed it around and it showed the different 3D aspect of yeah. his thing. It was like, holy crap, we're, we're giving vision to the machine at this point. Like, a Kinect yeah. is going to be in every, not in every house, but a version of that, that we've now invited the cameras into our room. And I mean, if the sales numbers say anything, like ten, a million in 10 days, or 1.3 million if you count um, worldwide sales, because yeah. they've only been out for three days, but in Europe. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, like this is big. We've invited the camera into our house. We've invited the machine, the machine's eyes into our house with open arms saying, fuck, this is awesome. <laughs> That's what I'm always, <laughs> starting, I'm always starting to think that, um, you know, why do we need devices to control anything? Like, you know how the, the mm. idea at the moment has always been like, oh, everything will connect to our mobile phone because our mobile phone's always in our pockets. Yeah. But we're starting to get already to the point where with, you know, image recognition, we can actually, you know, just using our bodies yeah. to make it do things. Yeah. And you even see that with like our videos, I think we mentioned before, where like, you know, uh, the, the barcode scanning thing or whatever. Or yeah. The, just all sorts of image tracking things where you don't need things like RFID. You don't need little GPS tracking devices. You don't yeah. need... A, a phone in your pocket at all times. You just need a camera. Yeah, I mean, it, even facial recognition's already got to the point now where I, yeah. can, I can take a picture of you and you know bring up your Facebook profile. Yeah, it can actually it's scan not, through. It's not really on the consumer market yet. It's no. not mainstream. Well, there hasn't been the killer app. There hasn't been yeah. the amazing thing. But I mean, when you think about it to the most, what can we compare this to the most, like evolutionary wise and just biologically and stuff? Is that I mean. A webcam is really no different than like an eye. Like an eye just yeah. sees just stuff, and then we we've got two of them, just like you know the yeah. connect, so we can see three D and stuff. And then we've just got fucking awesome software in the back end. I mean that's yeah. the exact same with this here. Sure, we can have like different tags. We can do it that way, and that will be used in other aspects. But I don't think I, I think you're right that it's yeah. it's the camera. Wait, we, 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 I, this thing's so new. I don't think we can even predict where it's gonna go already. No, well see that's why I'm, <laughs> that's why I'm really big on the like interface. Yeah. So I can't wait wait to see how it's done, but. Like when the Kinect came out, would you would you have been able to predict all the no the cool the little things and stuff? Said, like, well, that's why I love the the, the Kinect on the the Roomba. I thought that was great. That yeah. I, I can now actually say this seriously that I'm interacting with my robot by gesturing to it and speaking <laughs> to it. It's great. Yeah. My robot that actually cleans my floors and mows my lawn. I've got like that's cool. Where that's future. That is the future, man. So what else can we do with that? Like, it's everything. It's putting eyes on everything. So that's you put big. Well, the, the other thing we didn't mention too is like, um, if a camera's watching, if a camera's uh, watching us, mm. then it's learning from us. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah, very true. I mean, if you, if, if, you know, storage device doesn't really become an issue, which it really isn't these days, no. then if that camera's in, you know, on your TV, it's permanently watching your reaction to everything it yeah. shows you. Yeah. There's your feedback mechanism. Yeah, it can like, actually do that, it better. That, that's the idea. People have been talking about, you know, oh, imagine if they put like a little, a little webcam in the, uh, the iPad or in any tablet. Yeah, so you can then see. Then you can do eye tracking stuff and you can actually work out what's happening. Yeah. And then change it in real time and just test we can do that with a TV already now. You can do this. Well, with the Kinect, you can, you can actually see, okay, look, we've got a camera and we've got a million data, a million people, so that's our data size right there, how yeah. they interact with the game. Hey, let, let's make it more fun. Yeah. The exercise video, let's work out the best possible exercise for these million people <laughs> so they do do it longer and they do do it faster. And we let's train the, oh, train the humans that are using it. It's, we've invited the eyes into our home of the machine. The machine's eyes have now yeah. finally entered the home and I don't know what that means, but it's going to be it's fucking awesome. <laughs> it almost seems to be like every... Technological advances could be so amazing if we got over the privacy concerns. I think we already have. Which, really. No, but they're, they're eroding very slowly. It's, I think it's like we were talking about before, how with, with privacy, like Facebook and a lot of people, they just mm. push the edge. And then, you know, there's a big shit storm, like blah, blah, blah. But then it settles and people, that becomes the new privacy norm. Yeah, and it just keeps on going people up. People are like, okay, that's, that's normal now. And then well. somebody does... So the normal thing now will be, oh, I, of course I've got a camera in my on my TV. Yeah, I've got a camera yeah. in every room because it's just that's how I interact with all of yeah. my appliances. Because you get so much benefit back, mm. people don't care about the privacy concerns, no. and so then you get a massive leap in where the technology can go and what it can yeah. provide you with. Well, so that's, that's another thing I think is going to happen is camera in every room and you just, once the Kinect moves away from just the game thing actually starts yeah. going everywhere, you just interact with everything like that and I start talking to my room and yeah. 
You just need the uh, privacy. You need the you need the algorithm to recognize <laughs> subjects having sex now. Do not record. Oh. Do not share. Maybe. I, I don't. <laughs> that, that, that's a sensation. That's a privacy level. I don't think anyone would really. Well, see, I think. Well, see, you say that now, but you say, I think the platforms in the future, I'd, I'd give it a few decades that won't be seeing <laughs> someone else have sex. You're you like, said well, it right really here. Want, well, that's it. I, I don't really want to see it, but if it's there, well, how like, many okay. decades? Oh, I'll say about three or four. Three or four. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's a long way though. I don't think so. I mean, think about how uh, how colloquially we speak about like sex now compared to our grandparents. They had yeah. dances. They went and danced together. That's how they met yes. someone else. Anyway. Apparently they, the Pope's just come out and said that, yeah, condoms are okay. For male prostitutes. <laughs> Very peculiar. <laughs> how sad is that? Anyway. Anyway. Brad's different technology outside of the stuff. Anyway, I think we've covered quite a lot <laughs> yeah, of things. So. Anyway, think <laughs> yeah. about that. Like, if, uh, with that, we've invited the machine's yeah. eye into our living area and uh, we machine's love it. <laughs> Good fun. Cool. Well, catch you guys next week. Yeah, it's been Actually, 45. We're going to try and do an interview next week, are we? Oh, yeah. We're going to try. We don't know. We we're going to try. <laughs> so we won't we'll say anything about it yet, but it might be yeah. an interview. So stay, stay tuned, guys. Stuff. Okay. Catch you next week. But, oh, sorry. I'm Nathan Waters. I'm Tristan Grace. That was a horrible, horrible shot. It was. Bye. Mm.